Welcome to the Slade and Wade podcast. This is where we discuss all things nerd and geek culture. I'm Wade. I'm an anime and movie lover. And I'm Slade, and I'm a gaming and tech specialist. When we come together, we make this podcast, and we have a good time doing it. And we don't happen to hate each other at the same time. So strap in, get your popcorn ready, and listen to the Slade and Wade podcast. Welcome to the Slade and Wade podcast. podcast. This is your bi-weekly dosage of tech, geekdom, anime, movies, all the stuff that we love and nerd out on. We're back in the new year. How are you feeling, Wade? I'm feeling fat as hell. You could roll me down the stairs, buddy. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I've ate way too much. It's my smart way skills like... Wait, are you a new person? You want us to record this as a new person? Oh, my God. The insult when <laughs> who, your own weight skills who, insulting you, bro. <laughs> who is, is this man? Like, who is this man? You weigh a little bit more than usual. Yeah. This man is not like my regular <laughs> guy. So Wonder Woman came back strong at the end of the year of 2020, slapping it up with Wonder Woman 1984. And this is a movie yeah. that was only on... HBO Max and movie theaters. It was on the top 10 of the box office releases for last year, I'm sure. <laughs> for most likely. Because there's not, there's not too many box office releases. I haven't watched it personally. <laughs> Wade has. I won't get into any spoilers. People did not enjoy it as much. I, really? I, I watched it with my girlfriend. She didn't, she didn't love it. I personally enjoyed it myself. Okay. Uh, I, there, there's things I found in it. It's not very action heavy, mm. right? It's focused on like the more fantastical elements of the DC universe. Okay. And the fact that it's in 1984, it's very slow paced, but it's still an overall entertaining movie. Um, so for me, at least a lot of, a lot of people have trouble with it. Is this, have <laughs> you played Uncharted 4? 4? No, no. no. Oh, okay. It reminds me of like what Uncharted 2 <laughs> was to, to 4. Two was like action packed, like Tom Cruise level of action every five minutes or so, and still good story for Uncharted Four. Just telling the backstory of Drake and his brother, etc. And it was less action packed. There was still some action, but not as over the top or consistently like Number Two. So I'm guessing it's like mm. that for One Woman, where I mean, yeah, the, the trailer makes it seem bit. like there's some good action there, but it, there's there's moments, but it's a two and a half hour long movie. It's and two you and a half hour have long movie. Twenty thirty minutes of yeah. God damn. Yeah. It's long. <laughs> what you said. Yeah, it's long. <laughs> Crazy. Despite all that. It's still good. It was still successful enough to warrant Wonder Woman 3 being greenlit. Mm, okay. So that I'm looking, I'm still looking forward to that. Look, Wonder Woman 1 was so good that like it could just ride on. And there's parts of this that are good. Right. You know, there's some, there's some new stuff that's introduced, you know, that you're like, what? Why isn't that in Justice League since this happens before Justice League? Mm. Uh, you know, we start to get into the timeline and why things are and aren't there. It's got to sound like it gets really wacky, wacky stuff. Yeah. And uh, you have her, her, her boyfriend. Oh, man, I'm drawing a blank on his name. Oh, no. Is it Steve Trevor? <laughs> I don't remember. Chris Pine's character. Excuse, Chris Pine's excuse character us. We'll be back, back for a moment to figure out who, what's his name is. <laughs> Yeah, the actor is Chris Pine. Yes. And I believe his uh his character's name is Steve Trevor. Um, but yeah, he <laughs> comes back. That's weird. People are arguing about how that's even possible and the ramifications of how how that happened. So there's a lot more fun discussion to be had. But Wonder Woman three could redeem nineteen eighty four, in my opinion, and continue to be redeemed. Like, it could be okay, an overall gotcha. good franchise. Okay. Like Thor. Thor, middle child. Horrible. Yo, Nobody talks about Dark World. <laughs> oh, <no>. but, <laughs> wait, 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 but, wait, but wait, 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 wait. Pause, 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 pause. And Ragnarok. The, you came out of nowhere with this, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're naming this as like Thor 2? Is this the same level as Thor 2 then? Or, or Spider-Man 2. Well, no, 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 Jesus no. Spider-Man 2, the, the, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man 2 is actually really good. It's Spider Man Three that's really bad. Um, right, this is it either broke good. the whole like this is either really philosophy. good or really bad. So wait, yeah. All right, compared to so compare Wonder Woman nineteen eighty four <laughs> to the original. How does it? How does it compare? Is it good? Is it great? Is it... It's not as good. It's weird because you want to love it. Like the actors are great. Pedro Pascal is great. K Kristen Wiig is great. Chris Pine is great. Gal Gadot, gorgeous. She's <laughs> she's you know she's. 
she's per she's perfect. She gives us this air of confidence and power that you would expect from from Wonder Woman. All right. Um, but the script is where things kind of get a little crazy. And Who's again, you can find this? enjoyment in this movie. But, is it the same director as before? Uh, Patty Jenkins. Pa- Patty Jenkins directed, but she also wrote the script, um, which she did not do for the last. Oh. Um, so and she decided I, to do more than she could I believe that's part true. of the problem. Comes. Gotcha. Who wrote the last yeah. script? Do you know? Yeah. I don't know that off the top okay. of my head now. But I'm sure that it's it's always a team of people anyway. I'm sure right, it's a group. there were right. rewrites and there's and there is reshoots for this. This, this kind of reminds um, me of the Game of Thrones yeah. post and pre of using the original uh, books. Oh, yeah, yeah, so. yeah. But it's not as bad as the Game of Thrones finale, in my opinion. Again, people are split. People can find enjoyment in this. Um, I won't say that this is like a Star Wars The Last Jedi situation. Mm-hmm. Where it literally divides the fandom in half, <laughs> but I mean, some that, people love it, and some yeah. people well, some people like it, some people really dislike it. Um, but I think there's things in this movie that work for everybody. It's just that whether or not you want to judge it on the whole of being a two and a half hour movie, or just you know highlight its good moments versus bad moments, there's both are in there. You know, are you an optimist or a pessimist? <laughs> But um, speaking but of yeah, it's, being optimistic it's, of their future, it's bad. <laughs> seven out of ten. Seven out of ten for me. Wow! <laughs> Holy shit! You heard it first here, guys. Wade, <laughs> seven out of ten for Wonder Woman, nineteen eighty four. I haven't watched it yet, so I'll give my impressions on the next episode. But <laughs> as controversial yes. as Wade's decisions for <laughs> Wonder Woman's nineteen eighty four, seven out of ten. Crazy. All right. Just as Ray's yeah. Fisher, also DC, is pulling off like, hey, is it me or him? Choose. Like a Russian roulette going on over here, right? <laughs> What's the, the, oh, crap. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. There's an old, there's an old school movie that, that it's like, are you coming with me? Are you, are you guys leaving with me or are you staying here? Like, <laughs> are you guys walking out with me? I'm not going to try and figure out what movie reference that is. Okay. We're just going to push forward. We're just going to push forward from that. <laughs> So Ray Fisher, <laughs> who is, if you don't know who Ray Fisher is, he is cyborg. You, where you might have saw him is from Justice League. And he yeah. pretty much has beef with the president of DC Films, uh, Walter Hamada. And he pretty much asks DC for the ultimatum by saying, hey, either you fire this guy or demote him as president or you choose me. And they decided yeah. to keep him, keep Walter. So Ray Fisher took that as a sign. And he's no longer expected to return back as Cyborg in the DC Multi-Universe. Which, honestly speaking, we already lost a lot of the big players from DC Multi-Universe. Uh, I mean... Ben yeah. Affleck doesn't want to come back and play Batman, last I recall. Um, you got now Ray Fisher. Well, we, yeah. Gal Gadot is for sure because she's making man money from Wonder Woman. She's literally the Wonder Woman of our generation yeah. right now. Who else are yeah. missing here? Well, Aquaman uh, is doing great. But, Aquaman's um, doing great, yeah. Superman, uh, he doesn't want to come back for any reshoots. <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, but that you could take that as a sign of Henry, him Henry Cavill. Give, yeah, Henry Cavill. You could tell you could take that as a sign as him not being part of want to be part of DC, or he's just like he's fe- tired of the whole Justice League shoot in general and just wants to go forward. Yeah. So you could take it as either or. Yeah. But right now, out of all things cinematic wise, they're kind of in a shakeup. Mm-hmm. You know, you already have. Two of the you already had one of the biggest, you know, iconic characters already leaving Batman. So they had to replace him. And now we got Twilight Batman. <laughs> so I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Robert Pattinson. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if they replaced him with someone else. Um who you could do they're they're already replacing other people. They're gonna replace Batman. Who will be a yeah. good candidate for and Superman? I wonder that. Oh God. I don't right? know. Right. That's that's the um, question. Like, if Ray Fish is out of the table. Uh, honestly, like, you could look at Doom Patrol on um, on also HBO Max. I, I personally have only watched, like, the first couple episodes of Doom Patrol. Right. But they have a cyborg in that show, and he's pretty good. Um, kind yeah, of like a younger... They usually you don't know. pull in... Because Zuri had a good Flash, even though later on we all kind of had our feelings about Flash. The TV show, they could have used that yeah. Flash... For the cinematic world, but they didn't. 
They could have used the Superman from Smallville as a Superman for the movies. They didn't. Yeah. You know, a lot of DC is in a situation where they mix and match their characters as they please. They, they're pretty much, they could all just say, hey, by the way, guys, this is all multi-universe. You'll never know which right. universe that we're on. Every Batman is different. Every one of woman. We might come out next year with one of woman that's Asian or black or whatever. Native American. It's from a different multi-universe. And DC is like reboot central. They have new Jokers left and right. <laughs> like, and so, Yeah, those two Joker movies definitely do not connect. <laughs> no, and I heard that they're asking the Joker from Suicide Squad. Uh, I forgot his name. Jared Leto. Jared Leto. <laughs> He's also supposedly coming back f- to play as Joker again. So DC is, yeah. I, they don't have, they don't really have to care. Honestly, as long as they're one of their movies hits, which is the case with Joker, they didn't expect Joker to hit. Yet you have people going to the Bronx stairs, posing all the time because <laughs> of the whole movie. Like, and that was a depressing ass movie. <laughs> like, but still very good. Yeah, it's still, it. still a great Joaqu- movie. Joaquin, Joaquin it's kind of like the... I would say it's kind of like the, the Dark Knight of the Joker series-ish. Um, well, it, in terms of darkness. And it's all. the only... Yeah. Well, yeah. It's a, yeah. Because all it's the other movies are more as like... Good as the, I wouldn't say it's as good as the Dark Knight. No, no, no. But I'm talking about in, in reference but. that it's not... <laughs> it's not part of any, like, arc in terms of DC. Like, oh, yeah, the Dark yeah, Knight yeah, yeah. was its, its own little, se- like, separate thing. The only thing we know about the Along Dark Knight. Along with Batman Begins and right. Dark Knight yeah, Rises. Exactly. But, yeah. That was a series that's only its own thing. Then you have the Joker, yeah. which is its own thing. That's not connected to the Joker and Suicide Squad. And oh, then, and I forgot about Birds of Prey. <laughs> yes. That's connected to Suicide Squad. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> right. It is. I forgot that was a freaking movie. Oh, my God. Yeah, that came out, like, what? <laughs> at the end of 2019, right? Sometime. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was before the pandemic. Yeah, it was before the pandemic. So... So you got all this, we'll see. all this stuff, this little melting pot of DC movies and shows and whatnot. Plus you got, plus you got Gotham, you got Titans on the DC uh, shows arcs and all that stuff. You have a lot of different like stuff happening on the side that's not connected at like how Mara was. Things work best with DC when they're solo. Yeah. Wonder Woman on its own. First one, great. Aquaman on its own. First, you know, yeah, it's one of one. Great. It's, it's kind of like the anime series. Shazam. Great. Yeah, Shazam. Shazam didn't do that great in the box office, but honestly, <laughs> it is a fantastic film. I it's love Shazam. Qual- quality film. Yeah, I like. I great enjoyed that film. Movie. And they didn't have a lot of budget, and they did a lot of good work in that. Yeah, that movie. Suicide Squad could have been great, but it wasn't. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. Birds of Prey, not not great, but they tried. Yeah, I, I think it's better than Suicide Squad in my opinion. <laughs> DC Universe is is one big jumbled mess, but what isn't a jungle mess? Is IKEA? <laughs> Have you ever walked into IKEA and wondered, man? I wonder how my future PS5 and Xbox Series X will look like in this TV cabinet. Well, you now can with the brand new <laughs> IKEA boxes of the PS5 and Xbox Series X, located in your local IKEA stores. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's honestly brilliant, man. I mean, because what are your living rooms for, man? Your living rooms are for your TVs and your consoles. Sometimes your internet routers and pets and what have you. But, <laughs> but you want to see how things are going to look. So, hey, people would steal the consoles if they were out on the floor. This is a perfect way. Yeah, it is a perfect to, way. To show yeah. This would be fun, awesome. Fun little side story for, for, <laughs> for us. And another fun little side story. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Speaking of consoles. AFD. <laughs> oh, man. Like. Yo, KFC we had a great time again, talking man. about Bud Light's console. KFC is launching their own gaming console. It's a 4K, 240 frames per second gaming console with a built-in chicken warmer. I need to know if this is available today. Can I have it? I, no, I can't. I, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. This is this is insane. Um, no price mentioned compared to like what Bud Light. Bud Light's uh, console was more like a auction thing. There's no prices no release date but it just seems either it's an april's food joke that came really early i mean they have a trailer for it <laughs> i mean they have trailers for april's full jokes though like they yeah yeah but it seems like if it's legit man i i wouldn't mind i mean so what's the deal 
you turn on your console, you order some KFC chicken. <laughs> you just open it up and then you just put your chicken in there and keeps it warm and crispy. I mean, it looks like a crock pot straight up. It looks like, like a crock pot or an air fryer, honestly. Right. And then it's got a little CD bay. Yeah. <laughs> My question is, what does it play? Yeah. <laughs> that too. What does it play? Does also, it play like, uh, would it this be wrong is... to put Popeyes in a KFC console? Oh, <laughs> sacrilege. <laughs> <laughs> Madness. Oh my god. Hey whole, man, yo, Popeye's KFC. KF, Popeye's chicken is crispier. I mean, you keep it warm. You want some crispy. Is it gonna keep it warm as in look, terms of crispiness or is it gonna be like warm and soggy? We gotta, you know, look, these are essential informations. Look, informations. Information. I don't, I don't care what type of marketing scheme this is. It's so bad. I could see Popeye's come out of all. Yo, by the way, thanks for making that console for us. We could put our chicken in there and keep it warm. <laughs> Yo, if there were Wendy's, man, yeah. Popeyes had Wendy's Twitter account. My God. The savagery. Yeah. Pop, they they all need to get together and just like one by one partner up with different game console companies. Like, you know, KFC can partner with Sony, you know, uh Popeyes <laughs> partner with Microsoft. <laughs> oh, you know, we'll have I mean, a good old fried did- food. Right, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they've done it with sneakers, man. I think KFC, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going to have to check back on this. Uh, but KFC had a KFC Crocs. They had chicken Crocs, pretty much. They had Crocs with the chicken print on it. They had little little doodads that you plug it in onto the Crocs. That was pieces and stuff like oh that. Oh, my God, they did. And it I was will, legit. I, I, will, I will put up an image. It is ew. Yeah. Um... <laughs> It's uh, I I think it smelled like chicken too. If I, <laughs> like I, th- I think it was like it's KFC had all the things. It had everything in it. So I feel bad for whoever's rocking those Crocs sandals or slippers, whatever you want to call it, sandals. Um, if you're rocking those Crocs sandals and you're just passing by a dog, your foot is gonna get bitten on the spot. Mm-hmm. No question asked. I, that smells like I, chicken. I also rub. just can't be. I can't be sure that this isn't just a a, a creative ploy. To get people to talk about their company, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they're but, the, they're the only company doing you know commercials. You don't you barely see Popeyes doing commercials anymore, so they don't really care. So, well, look, they had a whole romantic comedy. <laughs> <laughs> KFC, KFC they had, they had a whole, whole romantic like, comedy game. lifetime special. <laughs> <laughs> they did have that. Really oh, shit, yeah. Oh yeah. man. Hey um, man, KFC's out there. They're they're pretty great. they're they're willing to get inside the common trends. Um they just I don't know, man. You need to we gotta see what these 4K games look like. And if it's just 4K versions of like oh. emulations of some old ass games, yeah, just trolling, bro. Yeah, just trolling. Yeah. Um speaking yeah. of trolls um, and 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 savageryness, um uh, Genshin <laughs> Impact. 1.2 update came out with some savage, awesome new update where you had a new map and you're in the ice world. Pretty much it was snow time. And they followed through what I was thinking about that they're going to do the whole entire time was include a Christmas theme event. And it was mostly just that there wasn't snow. It had a brand new character called Abeldo. They had Albedo. New, Albedo. Albedo. Whatever. Albedo. <laughs> whatever. It's a made up potato, all right? Tomato, tomato. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so he was cool. He's a cool geo character that they included in. They also had three weapons that you could collect out for free, which is a nice thing that they offered. They didn't ever did that before. And they also gave you the opportunity to max out a weapon in terms of refinements, which is dope in my book, honestly. Yeah, which I which I just barely did. For um, I did it like in a week. It was it was great. <laughs> <laughs> they I, also I, had a cool ass yeah, challenge no, I, that made everyone either rage or compete who's faster is a great pissing contest yo man i could i could do it in one minute yeah man i could finish in 55 seconds like it was, it was yeah fantastic. i could do it with just a level 20 amber yeah man <laughs> without looking no no artifacts or anything bro like, all right cool <laughs> respect to you i mean yeah at the end of the day look get get your get your equipment and and you know get the event exclusive stuff and then yeah. be done so Ooh, the man. event stuff uh-huh. as a moment of this podcast is done. The area is still available. You can still go and do the challenges and the story quests to unlock and buy stuff from the event shop. But specific things like, um, mm-hmm. you know, 
specific boosts and attributes for your actual weapon that you're given through the story for the new world or the new part of the world is done. So, yeah, you can no longer do those challenges and stuff. Right. Yeah, exactly. And those right. challenges, they reward you yeah. some Mora, which is the money inside Genshin and some additional, um, you know, items, crystals, crystals, gems. et cetera. Yeah. Yeah. So it was pretty, it was worth it. I, I enjoyed it. I want them to expand more on this ice world. I'm waiting them adding the ice element for the traveler because I want to see how cool he is. So there's not a ton of ice users, but Ganyu is coming. Yeah. Um, so she'll it'll be, be kind of cool to add, you know, traveler in there. See how he'll, see how he'll, his ice moves will react because we have the geo, we have Amino, which is air, and geo is yeah. rock and crystallization. So we'll see I mean, because I, pretty much travel is supposed to be like an avatar of the game. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, well, it, it, he's supposed to be good. Like he's supposed to he's be, a five star, <laughs> you know? Yeah, he's a five star. He's supposed to he's supposed to be S tier. Yeah. He's, he's C tier right now. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I would say Dialuk, Chi Chi and um, Venti are like your your double S tier characters, like the best characters right now in the game. <laughs> Chi Chi for utility purposes, Dialog for damage purposes, and Venti for just all around destructive mass capabilities. No, but, there's, so, um, there's, there's a lot more characters. There's like um, and, Quake, Quake Ping. And, yeah, there's no, like there's a, a lot, lot of, of different characters, characters that are like Savage. And Gene is pretty good for like healing yeah. and DPS. But yeah, there's a lot of yeah high level players, but um, again, you have to roll for these characters. Yeah. You have to roll hard to get these characters if you're lucky. Anyway, more from other massive things that are happening around the world, like Genshin Impact. <laughs> Slack, the lovely communication platform that we all love. They got recently bought out, too. Mm. Yes, we, we, talk, we talked about. Yeah, we talked about, you know, in the <laughs> previous podcast. You can check it out. Um, they started out the new year with a massive outage. And this massive outage was huge. Like, holy crap, I did not expect them to have this kind of outage outage at all yeah i'm sure i'm sure this is not the new direction that they wanted to go in no yeah and <laughs> it it was just they were having issues from the very beginning at the when people were just starting into work and they were telling people hey please reload your, your can you please reload your your app or please do this and <laughs> um you think they got hacked it could have been a hack honestly it could have been a, like a ddos of some sorts it could have been some bad code uh, which has happened with amazon before but you know, the company's going to get like some benefits because it got bought out from Salesforce. Yeah. An outage. What the fuck? <laughs> who, <laughs> who flipped the switch? Who's DD in this company right now? <laughs> like, how do I'm pissed? Yeah. <laughs> like, who the fuck yeah. pressed the red button? Because they, they were still, even yeah, though they whatever. fixed it, they still had issues with like integrations with Google and Outlook. So it was, it was pretty bad. It was not a good day for them. Like, this is going to be part of the whole oh. Salesforce audit now. They're like, hey, what the hell happened that day, man? Like, we're buying your company. This is not looking good. <laughs> like, like, they don't want that. <laughs> it doesn't look attractive at I all. Mean, so, yeah, maybe it's one of these uh, kid hackers that steals Bitcoin and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, their main man. drive. They're like, all right, let me just mess with Slack. Yeah, I didn't want to pay for their plan, so I'm going to go <laughs> hack them. It's crazy. Yeah. On a lighter note, though, what's coming yeah. up, man? Oh, my God. I can't wait for this. I cannot wait for this. Anime is about to have a good year. Man. You my seem so Hero excited. Academia <laughs> Season 4. <laughs> what? You seem so excited for it. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be yeah, anime. Yeah, anime is going to have a, a good year, man. Year. Yeah, you have a fucking good year, you know, anime. You know, you have a good year. <laughs> like, Anime is going to have a crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got to be like present Mike. <laughs> Just scream into the micro. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so my hero academia is coming back. My um, hero, man. They have oh, my God. If you have not seen season four, too bad. Yes. It's been a whole entire year. And we're going to talk about it. Last bit of season four was Endeavor being the badass Vegeta that he's always, he always was. He shouldn't be Vegeta, but he's a Vegeta in this show. And except that he gets, he actually gets fights and he wins. <laughs> barely. This, this is, is Vegeta, Vegeta. I'm telling you, man. He's like <laughs> the self fight. Remember this? Uh, well, 
Well, did he win the yeah, Cell but, fight? Yeah, kind of. A little bit, but yeah. Uh, Vegeta, Vegeta was stronger than Cell Form 2. But then got his he ass just let like him, Form Form He three. let him absorb Android 18. Because he was flexing too much. Yeah, I remember that. He was a dick yeah. for that. Just, he deserved that. Good old, good old Saiyan pride. And, yeah, yeah. and then so molly watson when he when he becomes yeah. perfect even so. his son trunks if you have not seen dragon ball z the old school one too bad you had over a decade to watch it god damn it like 20 years probably yeah like pretty yeah. much i think right damn i feel old yeah anyway, since dragon ball. season yeah. five of my hero academia <laughs> the future successor of dragon ball z in some iteration maybe um mm-hmm. <laughs> like full-on new trailer getting you hyped it's coming out in March of this year, baby. And of, I can't March wait. March 27th. Yep. The 27th of March. I can't wait for it. It's going to be on Crunchyroll. And man, of course, of course. I just want to see what happens, man, because we just got left off of Endeavor doing his big moment. We had Deku with his, right. like, and his crazy moment right there, right? What was well, Deku? Yeah, had he's, what? he's having. He was having a nightmare freak right. out. Um, the the previous holders of All for One mm-hmm. are in his head, right. and the that the last thing you see is this like black thing, and uh, and uh, a window breaks. So there's something going on with Deku. Could just be puberty. I don't know. <laughs> Kids have superpowers. <laughs> Crazy stuff happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> It is what it is. Look, I got I get rumblings in the middle of the night too. You know what? You wake up, you handle it. <laughs> oh man, just go. go, just go do your business, man. Just do your business. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You notice some cool stuff in the trailer. Uh, there was, it was pretty dope. There's some new character features, some new some new costumes, and I don't know any manga spoilers, so I'm not even going to pretend. Uh, other than what's going on with Deku. Yeah, I don't. I don't know anything that's going to happen in this. Which next I'm happy about. Arc, so. I would not like to be spoiled. Yeah. Actually, that was the first thing that I saw in the comments. Hey, yeah. manga readers, let's not spoil this moment for our fellow anime watchers. <laughs> like I was spoiled for watching. <laughs> yeah, Attack on Titan season four. Bruh. Yo, I um, have not watched season four of Attack on Titan, so don't spoil it for me. Attack on Titan's manga is ending. <laughs> yes. Who would have thought? This is um, like the Bleach ending. It, for mangas dude it was supposed to end like last year i i remember saying at one point i thought it already ended yeah um the story is in a completely different place i know too many spoilers i don't i have no self-control i saw everything shut up there's a don't lot say going anything. on right now don't say anything <laughs> don't say anything but we know for um, sure that there's 16 episodes won't. left yeah. do you think by your expertise of spoiling the shit of yourself by reading the manga do you think they could fit the rest of it in 16 episodes? Absolutely not. They're going they're going Demon Slayer with it. Oh, There's going to be 16 episodes. It's going to get to get to a, poor, to a point, and then they're going to have a movie that we can't watch for another year oh, <laughs> uh, for Attack on Titan. So 2025 is probably when you will be completely done with Attack on Titan. 2025? That's my prediction. <laughs> Because we're gonna take a couple years to make this movie happen. Yo, it's a twenty twenty five, bro. Yo, they cannot this, do it in sixteen you're episodes. It's like it's Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven, man. Come on, yeah. Like it's not that yeah. bad, right? Like uh, Attack on Titan, like three years between seasons. Yes. Okay, first of all, Attack yeah. on Titan yes. before post post season two. Has but been good. I was a young boy with no pubic hair when Post the show season started. Season two has been good. <laughs> I'm an old two. man now. Season one, after season one, they milked the shit out of Attack on Titans before they released season two. You know that. That was yeah. years, like three years, I think it took them. Well, to... and yeah, exactly. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Three years. So you know, uh, and then there was a gap between season two and three. It's right. kind of like Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty had significant gaps too. That's true. Um, that's true. Yeah, but I'm telling you. They cannot do it in 16 episodes. It's not possible. They're going to end it at a certain point all, all where I, things all take I, a turn. All I want them to do and, is not pull off a and Game of Thrones. They're going to have a movie. <sighs> God, no. <laughs> not a movie. Because a movie means <laughs> that it will now be delayed. It will for sure be delayed for so long. Because um, I mean, unless you're doing 16 episodes. Haha, just kidding. First half, 16 episodes. <laughs> second half. 16 episodes, they could but do that's that not too. the case. I mean, that's they, what they did with season three. Yeah, no, but they they announced that the Blu-ray was splitting it up into eight episode packs of uh, DVDs. So so there's eight episodes per per Blu-ray, right? So it's, so it's definitely possible they, they can do that. 
they they could release they should do if, if it was 24 if it was 24 episodes great but we now have hard confirmation with the blu-rays that it's it's pretty much only 16 so i hope i'm wrong i hope i'm so wrong because this is just wild speculation at this point but sad. only 16 episodes are it's announced sad. and there is far more than so 16 sad. episodes worth of content even at three chapters per episode so it's sad. still far too much to cover but yeah so far nine out of ten animes <laughs> nine out of ten, <laughs> It's it's pro- it's one of the best anime of all time. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. Period. <laughs> I mean, there hasn't been an anime like that for a while, though. There's no other anime like it. Usually, animes are unique to itself, <laughs> in a sense. Yeah, one One Piece will always be up there. Yeah, you know, Hunter X Hunter had a long, nice, chunky run, still going. Uh, uh because show. it's like one one chapter per year, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, Yu Hakusho. Uh, Bleach, you know, Naruto. Nah, I mean, part of Bleach, yeah, but Bleach yeah. up to a certain point, yeah, of the original, oh, the yeah, originals, yeah. I guess. O- what we call it to the where if you haven't watched Bleach, I'm sorry, man, you, you gotta catch up. What the fuck is wrong with you? After Aizen, <laughs> the first like defeat of Aizen, it's it's gone quote unquote downhill from there. It's not, yeah, yeah, um, but but yeah, there's you know, there's a lot of Naruto, of, uh, um. Of of a uh, of really popular anime, but I think uh, Attack on Titan has a quality to it that is is pretty rare. You know, I think um, the only show that can reflect that a little bit might be Demon Slayer if they keep it up. Honestly, Demon Slayer is definitely very similar, and now we have uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, which is similar levels of popularity for that. Mm. But I will not talk about Jujutsu Kaisen. Please don't, the because I'm not watching the fourth yet. podcast in a row. God damn it! I, I, not I keep gushing it about the show. It only got better. There was such a good Stop. fight. Anyway, Stop! <laughs> I've not watched it. Um, Do not spoil well, this for me and our millions of viewers. Okay. Um, what I will spoil though is that there's a time skip in Black Clover, baby, and we are finally through all the filler. It was about thirty episodes or something of filler. I don't know. It felt like a year. This is why I will not watch that show <laughs> um, ever. <laughs> <laughs> it was they the first have significant the amount sins. of filler they with have Black the Clover. Fi- the, the, the five sins. I'm going to call it the five sins. I'm going to probably cut this whole part out, by the way. <laughs> so this is my really just rambling on. <laughs> Shitty animation, unbalanced no. direction of story, <laughs> fillers, fillers, shitty outcomes for, for fights. The five sins. You have fillers twice. Fillers one is Naruto fillers. All right, give or take three or two. Huh. Fillers twice means you have long ass fillers that feel like arcs, aka bleach. They got the five sins of shitty anime. I mean, look, man. <laughs> I, and the anime, I some of the fights. If you don't, if you don't have the ended the way you don't have the been. heart. If you don't have the heart to 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 stick it through Black Clover, then that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> look, that's it's okay. not. It's not the most. It's not. It's not. It's not a uh, uh, demon. Demon Slayer. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen level, but it's a fun shonen with magic and swords and people getting just uh, like fairy tale. Uh, decked with a giant black, just like fairy magical, tale. not magical sword, just like it's fairy, fairy tale. Yeah, which fairy tale I watched all of, and, you... and I don't hate it. <laughs> what? It's not what? Bad. I could I what? Stop it through it. <laughs> you said you said I regret watching fairy tale. You you reviewed it so badly. I probably afterwards. did. I probably did say that. You did say that, and I stand by this that. This is also. fairy tale two you know point oh, man. I I'm the type of person that if I'm even somewhat invested in anime, I will try and see it through the end. All right, I give you um, that. I give you that. Like I like fairy tale. I needed to know how it ended. We were at the final season. I was ready. You know, there's so many epic. things happening. On there was some cool stuff in the final season. Yeah. And there's some cool stuff in Black Clover. Uh, you just have to, you know, you got to like it. You, you just got to like it. Just let me know how it goes, right? And, <laughs> and if, if you it, don't, you don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just let me know how it goes. But, bro, nah, bro. Roto burned me. <laughs> got burned badly. Black Clover burned me by the animations, man. You know that. You know the animations now. You officially know this. Because people thought it was crazy. <laughs> like, this man talking about animations, it's not that bad. And then you see the mouth not moving <laughs> for like, Five seconds straight. 
You know what I'm talking about, Wade. You know what I'm it, talking about. It jumps, it jumps it up and down in quality. The a, the animation for this last episode was crazy. Like um, I don't get that. Like, did you, you see tell the, me the other day that when, they had when, a filler that was so great in animation, and then it was like, eh. yeah, yeah. Like what? No, well, like it was, it was really good. Yeah. It was a good episode, but um, at the end of the day, it was a filler. Um, but it, you know, they 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 do stuff, man. They. They try different styles of animation with like almost every fight, and it's wacky and crazy. If you ever watched Madoka Magica, that's one of those shows that does like a million different animation styles in its fights. A lot of 3D rendering, a lot of crazy stuff happening right. all at once. It that's what's happening of, with a lot of these saying, fights. Like the thing I could think about because what I watched so far from it, that it kind of mm-hmm. reminds me of the pain fight in Naruto. Oh God! Right. Well, that's what um the one of the early fights when Asta first went black and went crazy and had that flying form with the devil's wing. Um, yeah, that, I don't know. That I saw fight that fight. Yeah, I saw, it was the co- animation that, that was, was completely of, different. Of Naruto versus Kane. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Because they ha- they have different key animators that jump in there and they do crazy abstractions and like stretching and weird stuff but like you know yeah it got uh, a i kind of got fun like of anime really dumb man baby cry oh yeah cry baby yeah i got that kind of vibe man cry baby yeah. yeah like the weird wacky animations at some points that's what it reminded me of yeah anyway to to close out this black clover thing um <laughs> there's two reasons why it was trending one time skip asta's new model looks like hell it looks like they slapped Asta's head onto Goku's body. Um, he's like incredibly bulky now, and like it's kind of gross. And they have him in incredibly tight clothes. I don't like it personally, but yeah, dude, dude bulked up, and so did like the entire rest of the cast. It's only like six months of a time skip, and they're all like super muscular and strong and crazy now. It sounds like a parody. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was also because they had a K-pop ending. The fuck. <laughs> and I think a, and I think a K-pop opening, the songs were very popular. Yeah. So the K-pop fans latched on to Black Clover. Mm. And now, because it was trending worldwide, uh, just because it included that song. So Black Clover is now going to get a little bit more recognition. And maybe if you're a person that skipped it, skipped it overall because you saw the first episode and his ass is screaming, you know, hey, maybe watch the dub, get through it. And come back to the Japanese version because they get over that pretty pretty quickly after that. And then if you got problems with the animation, look, I mean, I can't help you. It goes up and down. <laughs> but that's speaking yeah, of the... <laughs> time skip endings and all that stuff. Uh, One Piece. One man. Piece might be ending soon. Bullshit. <laughs> Complete <laughs> bullshit. Um, this is one of those things that Oda does every once in a while. Complete. Oda bullshit. will say, "Hey, we're two thirds of the way done." We're three quarters of the way done. Um, he just put out a statement the other day that I won't read all of. Um, but basically, it was like, hey, we've had a lot of fun. I enjoy making this series. I wasn't confident all the time that people would stick to One Piece. Um, but now, um, you know, I just want to thank everyone for riding it out for this long. Like, he's really like ready to say goodbye at this point. I give it one to two, maybe three more years. And I think One Piece is over in the, in the manga. Um, it's coming up, man. It's coming up. It's coming up. Oh, there, my God. There's still a lot of content. As far as I know, from Chapter 1000, um, what I vaguely heard and tried to avoid spoilers, because I'm invested in One Piece more so than Attack on Titan for some reason. Really? Wow. <laughs> um but I, I heard that basically where they are in the manga, they're still not done with the with the Wano arc, um, but they're coming close to it. And the Wano arc is going to have at least one more arc after that. And it'll probably be long and that'll probably take a year or two to finish. So <laughs> you got through a thousand chapters, maybe 250 more. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be done with it. But yeah, Oda's Oda's saying goodbye essentially. And maybe when it finishes, you can uh, get the recap and <laughs> be done with it. <laughs> I'll get the recap for it, <laughs> dude. I just like I, I hear this. This is I'm like so a tempted. annual thing for me. Yo, man, One Piece <laughs> might be finishing soon. Oh, for real? 
why? Because yeah, it's already like they have like ten years already left. At six, <laughs> 600. They already beat Naruto. Yeah, but it might end soon, man. All right, cool. Let me know when. Yo, bro, it's still going. <laughs> like, yeah, it's been two years. <laughs> like, it's it's still going. It's not stopping. You're gonna be talking yeah, to your go. grand grandkids. You know, I used to watch One Piece episode one. It's still going. Episode 2025 is going out tonight. You want to watch it with me? Like, it's going to be that point in time, man. I'm just going to keep yeah, on Yeah, can you imagine I'm 80 years old? <laughs> just like on my deathbed. <laughs> Show me the final episode of One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't really see it, but I can hear Luffy's voice. It's so lovely. Oh, I remember when they were on episode a thousand. Oh, <laughs> Yo, me, me and my friend Slade <laughs> had such a good time talking about the, the episodes and manga chapters. And you still, oh, you still. I just watched never it got yet. him to read it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think one day he looked at a manga cover once. <laughs> that was the best I could have done. <laughs> looked at Barnes and Noble. Looked the cover. <laughs> eh. <laughs> he just <laughs> striked them by Attack on Titans. What's <laughs> some new shit? Uh, oh yeah, man! But but, but I can man. imagine. And then Luffy's still looking People... exactly the same, just with one more scar on his face or some shit like that. <laughs> People, people will cry when when One Piece ends. I look, think, yeah, that will be a moment. That's um, gonna be a moment. I, I, I feel look, like I if, cry. I cry for random anime. I cry for ReZero. Like, you know, I can't watch ReZero, <laughs> which is also coming back. But oh, yeah, oh. Um, I mean, Beastars was moving on. Had some moments in there. Oh yeah, Beastars. Did Beastars make me cry? No, it didn't. No, it didn't. What? But it had some crazy moments. What? Uh, almost, almost. Oh almost. my god. All right. I could relate to being a teenager that, you know, wants to get down with somebody, but also might want to eat them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Spoilers. I just summed up the whole show. It, <laughs> you did. Yeah, you did pretty much sum up the whole entire show. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Bro, okay. What, after the podcast, we'll, we'll talk about <laughs> what I, how I feel about, about uh, this second to last episode ending. Oh, my God. All right. Um, anyway, so, so uh, uh, next week we'll have a review of B Stars for for Wade because he's finally <laughs> finished it. So we'll see how that goes. I can I can talk about it freely. Yeah. Um, we're talking about a lot of shows this episode. Yeah, we are. And uh, speaking uh, of what else is going to have a lot of shows? Oh yeah, a lot of shows. Hulu baby. Hulu <laughs> with live TV is now coming with Nickelodeon, Comedy Central, MTV, and more Viacom, aka CBS channels. What that means, yes, is that you're about to get a lot of Rugrats love on Hulu. Uh, Should I pay for Hulu? Well, that it's is Hulu the question. <laughs> with live TV, you got to remember that it's not your regular Hulu. Hulu by itself is you're paying for Hulu, you get the commercials, then you get the premium Hulu, which is Regular Hulu without the commercials. Then the step up is this guy, the chunky one, which is Hulu with live TV, which is premium. But you have access to all these different TV channels and all that stuff. But I think some of them you have to pay for it, man. You have to pay extra, like a extra ten dollars for some of these. They're like, it becomes like cable. You know, you used to pay for Stars or HBO. Oh my God! Hey, you want? But this? I don't have to buy a cable box. Do you want this HBO <laughs> channel, the new Wonder Woman nineteen? 19- 84 is exclusive on it. Guess what? Sign your goddamn soul for a add-on on Hulu Live TV. Do you want all the swagger of a young black teen? Well, you better sign this Hulu subscription and you will be able to watch SpongeBob SquarePants. You know, we know you still like that ish, boy. You know you want to see him <laughs> trying to smash Sandy, but he never does because he finally realized his open sexuality towards Patrick, right? Oh, no. No. Oh no! Most most controversial episode yet. Uh, <laughs> the 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 co-host of Slade Wade podcast accused SpongeBob of being <laughs> gay. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> they openly said it like twenty years later, later. <laughs> dude. <laughs> like twenty years? How long is no, SpongeBob? No, 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 no. Holy shit! I haven't said this is this is hot. This is hot water. It's... I will not have SpongeBob's sexuality questions. <laughs> <My God. laughs> 
And Dude, I will not say it has been about 20 Sandy years. Peaks. Jesus this Christ, conversation that was right. enough already. Holy crap. It's been 20 <laughs> years since this show has been out. 20 plus years. Hey, mm. it rivals One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> Tying it all together. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's, it's going to be cool. I'm not going to pay for it. Or will I? <gasps> yeah, no, you're not going to pay for it. Anyway, things that we're uh, willing to pay uh, for. Maybe. Disney Plus. We're not Family sponsored plan. by Maple Disney. Like our last episode. Or two episodes ago. Cut us a check. Mandalorian, Give us baby. money. It's done. <laughs> it's over. Uh, you've been warned. This is going to be a spoiler heavy section. Yeah. yeah. Massive spoiler, son. Massive We're about spoilers. about to take a spoiler dump on your chest, you're, The boy. spoiler. You We're going to ram this lightsaber spoiler <laughs> up all in there. So if you don't want this spoiler Give up on your face, skip. There's going to be a timestamp. Yes. <laughs> like in the description. Yes. Of- Spoiler colonoscopy, boy. We're going to get all up in there. <laughs> you ready? Are you ready? We already said lightsaber, boy. Luke Skywalker's back. <laughs> all right. There we go. Uh, Luke Skywalker is officially back from the dead. Um, um, now with weird CGI, not Jesus Christ, mask, dude. Matching face. All right. When. <laughs> The sh- overall show, I'm going to just say it off the top, so too, too long to talk kind of thing. I give the show a solid either a 9 out of 10 or 8.5 out of 10. That's my rating for it. I give it, nine, I give it 9.2. Okay. 9.2, baby. I, I say not a Good. solid like 9 for me because there's some... Knowing that they the way they did it, I would say I'll give it a 9 for that. But there's some CGI parts that are like, meh. Specifically, Luke Skywalker was not the main reason why I was like, eh, to it. But his CGI, well, they say it was deep fake. It looked pretty rough. And I already knew when I yeah. saw that deep, when I saw the deep fake of it, I was like, man, I can't wait until they put the show on YouTube because I could, I, I could know I've seen, people are going to make deep fake versions of this that looks way better. And they did. And they did. Of course. Yeah, they, they did it already. Which makes me confused. So- how of a company like Disney, which makes billions of dollars, can't afford to get a decent deep fake? Like, hire the people on YouTube. Like, yo, dude, yo, you did an awesome deep fake. Let me hire your ass. Nah, let's do our own. Looks like trash. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you should have learned from the but first time. Like, I, I understand that time is like a constraint well, here. Yeah, for sure. Um, but I've seen these deep fake people turn stuff around dude, it was like, like overnight. Days. Two like, days the episode came out. The guy deep faked the shit out of it real quick. Like what? And don't and don't get me wrong. Like so how how? Yeah, yeah. So I think honestly, they could take this opportunity, just like they did with the blue jeans guy, where they removed him. <laughs> like later oh, okay. on, they should go back mm-hmm. and fix Luke's face. I would watch the show again. I would watch the episode again just to see I, Luke's I, face fixed. I would be upset if they didn't. Yeah, because it honestly ruins the emotional moment. The whole that thing. It. it makes me not even. I mean, it makes take. me not even want to feel for Baby Yoda leaving Mando. It makes me wonder who the fuck did the deep fake for this Luke Skywalker? Like, why? Well, yeah, I saw. I saw the actor. The actor looks pretty, kind of like him. Definitely, definitely not the same at all. Um, because I, I was like, I was confused. I went on IMDb. I was like, who did they get to play Luke? And like Mark Hamill uh, did lend his uh, voice and I guess his advice for the scene. But like, um, obviously, um, they had to they had to change it up. And it actually sounded like they used recordings from Return of the Jedi mm. to to match it, too. It, it, it ends up being a whole big mess. But um, yeah, I, I, but we, I think... but we should go through and, and point by point um, go through go through the good stuff that was with the episode. Oh, the episode? Um, okay, overall. Because you had... Because let me tell you, man, if my boy Boba Fett was there when Luke showed up, I don't know what would have happened. <laughs> but my Yo, man Boba Fett... That is true. ...conveniently left, fled the scene right before everything went down in this episode. They they kidnapped that doctor, right? They um they approached the, uh, the Star Destroyer, mm-hmm. and they... You fight, do that fight with the TIE fighter and Boba pieces out. Uh, they get in on the ship, you know, they split up, they have their little attack plan. Mm. Mando goes alone. Everybody else is 
running through the ship. Right. But we did get that badass moment with Bo-Katan yeah. like, and Boba Fett in the beginning, in the very, very beginning. If Boba but, Fett yeah. came back yeah. and got back on that ship, <laughs> it would have been such a... It would have been a fight. It would have had to be a fight. Yeah. Like, he would have yeah, asked... they would recognize he, each he other. He would have asked... Of course. He would have, he would have definitely took the freaking Blaskar staff from Mando to fight this guy. <laughs> had to. No way. Yeah, like which, at that mm-hmm. point, I don't know which side Mando would take because yeah. he now understands that Boba Fett is essentially a foundling. Yeah. The son of a foundling. Um, and yeah, I mean, and the, I this think is he, a would Jedi have, he would have more allegiance who, to Boba he, Fett, but he would, it would be literally the reason why he's a, a Mandalorian. He's in the middle, pretty much. Yeah. Because. One, yeah. he wants to just be a general, you know, Mandalorian protector. One side wants to defeat everything, and overcome, and the other side wants to ideally protect, aka the Jedi, even though they have their own political nonsense. Um, so honestly, dude, I, I was surprised that Mando could have technically fought Luke right there. He had the dark saber. He's now the official ruler of Mandalore. He has and a Beskar <laughs> staff <laughs> too, so he has two weapons. This guy is pretty much. Becoming a death stroke <laughs> of, of he has a staff and a lightsaber. I mean, that will be a fun point for them to 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 conclude in the next season. Yeah. I mean, um we saw we saw some cool stuff. That Beskar armor could apparently take anything. Remember that robot bashing Mando's head into the wall? Yeah. <laughs> and it was like denting the wall. But like Mando after that was still able to fight. Yeah. Like Dude, if I was one of those which robots, is, which is crazy because his I think limbs off, I, I remember <laughs> here. I remember reading this somewhere. In some scenes, Blaskar armor gets destroyed by like lasers and shit. Yeah, and this one, this armor is like impenetrable. Yeah, this one seems to have pe- special properties where it's just like incredibly strong. Yeah, because he took a lot of blaster fire fire this season. He used it as a shield a lot of times, mm-hmm. um, and. And he used himself as a shield at times. Um, I think he took on a hit to, from a and lightsaber. It just, and and it, it just bounces. Yeah. He's able yeah. to stand it with his shoulder, so, I think his shoulder I pad or his, uh, with the staff. So it's just like, like the staff, at this point, at one point, I thought the staff sword was going to break. I was like, oh shit, it looked like it's going to well, melt. The lightsaber almost like melted it. Yeah. Yeah. Which would have been weird. But, but Beskar can melt. Yeah. Because that's how they form it into new weapons. So. Right. Makes sense. Um, very, very interesting stuff. I thought that Baby Yoda was gonna force choke uh, Grand Marf Moff Gideon. Ha! Uh, <laughs> I thought he was gonna force so you choke thought Moff Baby Gideon, but now choke he Moff Gideon. Yeah, Grogu. Sorry, Grogu. I didn't call him by his. Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't get my dad. I was like, <laughs> by his real name, not not his slave name. <laughs> <laughs> Grogu. I can't get the over that Grogu. It sounds so like. Yeah. Grogu. I got used to it. You got used to it? I, I now I have like... a I have a Grogu calendar. I have a Grogu painting it's on my not, wall. They didn't, <laughs> Disney Grogu. doesn't even acknowledge it in the toys and stuff. It's still called the child. It's still it's still baby Yoda. Yeah, baby Yoda, the child. The child. Baby Yoda. Yeah. Or baby Yoda. Yeah. But hey, that, that cute little baby. All he did was sense Luke coming, and that was uh about the sum of his influence in this episode. Uh but Luke's was moment great, was with the troopers. Is I get the same vibe as Dark Vader on the ending of Rogue One. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a reverse version yes. of of Dark Vader from Rogue One, which is what makes it so awesome and almost makes it forgivable. Yeah. That um that you had that. Mm. That you had that CGI deep fake face. <laughs> it was so I didn't expect it to be so good because I was looking at it like, wow, who the hell is this? And once you saw the hand, they're like, wait, metal hand. Oh, yep. Once I saw the green lightsaber, I was like, no way. Mm-hmm. No way. Yep. <laughs> and yeah, I saw the I saw the hand and like I saw the cloak and I was just like, they're, just, they're gonna do this and they're not gonna show his face somehow. <laughs> and they keep going. And then, you know, he gets to the door. He pulls down the hood, and I was like, oh, my God, they're doing it. They had the balls to do it. Oh, no. <laughs> they had the balls to do it. <laughs> I was so excited. I was like, oh, shit. <gasps> it's Luke. Oh, my God. Yes, it's Luke. What the fuck happened to his face? Man, they don't even have his pimple. He looked like he went through a proactive don't make him commercial. Talk. Stop. <laughs> you can't make him talk. It's bad when you make him talk. Stop making him talk. I was talk. like, please, just 
just <laughs> give him a mask. We'll put the give him like a COVID mask, just cover it over his face, <laughs> like you know, by his hair. Could or you something. imagine? Jesus, could you please stay six feet apart from me, <laughs> sir? You were six feet apart, though. Funny enough, I'm here to retrieve the child. Um, make sure that you put him inside that little baby stroller. There you thing see how long his lightsaber is? Yeah, stay away before I poke you with it. <laughs> six feet, six feet, <laughs> points the lightsaber six out at him. Six feet, <laughs> six feet. Up. Grogu grows up and starts a new Jedi order when he turns 900 years old, and we're all the cycle continues. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> yes, Rick and Morty, a thousand years. Rick and, <laughs> Rick and Morty, Morty, a thousand years. Forever. A thousand years forever. <laughs> more, more Rick and Morty, more Mandalorian and Grogu and Baby Yoda merch forever and ever. We'll continue to sell merch Look. till dawn, till your kids have Look. grandkids. What? Yeah. That's how long Baby Yoda will live. I just, I just want to say uh, to anybody still listening to this podcast, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> and I want to say thank you to Editor Slade for going through and editing so much of this out. Yeah, this is going to be a... Uh, <laughs> this is going to be a bitch. But anyway, that concludes our week of Slade and Wade podcast. I'm your host, Slade. And Wade. We'll see you guys probably next week. Eh, what do you think? Or in, or in two weeks. Or in two maybe, weeks. Maybe it'll be February. We'll try to go for bi-weekly. Keep it at that. And then we'll keep you posted. Peace. 2021. Deuces.